So, I uh, got this mic interface, um, the Scarlett Solo. I was using the uh, Realtek audio built right into the uh, computer, and uh, the sound, you know, it's not it's not very loud and it's not the best quality. I, you know, you pick up noise from somewhere if you turn the gain up too much, or you know, it's got the the three built-in gain settings, and it's like. 10 20 or 30 percent or something it's just it's never never good i mean you just it's not very fine-tuned control and you know you, you adjust it but you know i like i like to do like uh skype and stuff so it's like you know sure you can edit it afterwards and stuff and you know bump up the volume but you know that doesn't really help for for streaming where you can't really you know edit that stuff in post because there is no post so so yeah, I got the Scarlet Solo by Focusrite. Um, next day from Musician's Friend. Um, it was actually significantly cheaper from Musician's Friend than uh, Amazon. Um, if you don't have a Amazon Prime account. Um, if you have a Prime account, then you do save on shipping, but... Yeah, so if you can find it from someplace else, probably not eBay because this package does come with um, some plugins, some VST plugins that are actually really nice. And um, if you buy it secondhand, someone else might have registered them already and used them on their account. So, um, and have a look at this. I haven't even seen it yet. Um, so, yeah, it looks like we have the uh, device here, as you've seen. Um, probably elsewhere in your uh, research um, it is actually pretty heavy I you know I, I agree with what what people people have said it's uh, you know feels it feels like a sturdy device sometimes you start plugging cables into the back and uh, it starts you know tipping off the back of your uh, your desk or whatever but this actually seems to um, yeah have quite a quite a bit of uh, heft to it. Um, you can see you got all the all the knobs in front and stuff. And uh, sweetie, hi, hi. Anyways, yeah, that's my cat. Um, looks pretty good. It's it's got um, you're driving me nuts, sweetie. Here, come on, come on. Ugh. Yeah, he starts screaming whenever I start talking. So, um, let, yep, you open up the top, in the top of the box here it has uh, directions and a serial number to use to unlock your uh, plugins I was mentioning. Um, it also looks like it comes with um, some sort of safety sheet that isn't really important. Um, what else has it got? Oh, and the, and the USB cable. It's the bigger one like you'd expect from like a printer or something. It's, uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't know why they like those. Uh, it seemed like you'd, they'd use a standard one, but yeah. So that's, that's pretty much all, all that's in the box is, uh, your device and your, uh, little cable here. So I'm going to get hooked up and, uh, I guess see what we can get from it. Well, since I disconnected my um, other mic setup to install the Focusrite interface, um, I forgot I was going to have to record this. Um, so I'm using the microphone built into my webcam. So if the audio is awful, that's probably why. Anyways, um, the next step, I guess, is to go to the uh, Focusrite website. And we are going to go to downloads and select our product. We have the Focusrite Solo second generation. And we want the uh, USB SEO driver. We'll save that. We'll put it on the desktop for now. And then we are going to give it an install gonna walk us through the uh, standard uh, whatever 
And it'll ask uh, if you trust the publisher. Yeah, it's fine. Um, and it wants to restart the computer. What year is it? All right. Um, yeah, I'm going to close some stuff out, and then I'll be right back with you once we got that going. Alrighty, so I've gone ahead and loaded up FL Studio, and um, I might sound kind of weird because I don't have the adapter to connect my headphones at the moment. Um, I had a few of them, but I didn't know they went. Um, anyways, I'm going to show you up here in uh, options and audio settings. Um, usually FL Studio now will come pre-installed um, using its own ASIO driver, and um, it's not bad and obviously I'm using it to record this right now and you can you know it does kind of the same stuff as the uh, old ASIO for all did and um, I mean that one works very well too and it's very versatile but um, part of what's cool about this interface is it does have its own driver and uh, it's fairly low latency so uh, you might as well give that one a shot so what I'm going to do here is um, I'll go to the device and I'll go down. So I ended up having to uh, redub this section because, uh, oddly enough, the video software I was using um, did not actually record that. So um, basically, uh, what I what I always started was going over is you know the the driver the um, Focusrite ASIO driver is pretty low latency and. Um, you know, if you load up a, a sample song, something that comes with FL Studio, um, you can watch this underrun section. And um, if it's having a hard time keeping up, if the you know you set the latency too low, it'll start to, you know, it'll make crackling sounds too, but it will also start to show an, a number of underruns. So you can always watch that, and um, you, you know, gauge how well your uh, SEO driver is performing. But um, yeah. Or just wait a minute because I'm not keeping up with this video here. <laughs> so, yeah, you can just, uh, um, if it's not keeping up, you can, um, you know, set the, the buffer size up a little bigger and you should be able to, um, you know, get the, get the underruns to stop. So, basically, um, all we're going to do now is, um, if you look, we selected uh, channel one and a, and a new file and, um, you know, certainly if you were going to use a, uh, a previously worked on file, you'd want to uh, pick a different channel. But if you go over, um, you have uh, a stereo set of inputs. So if you wanted to use, say, the microphone and record the um, instrument at the same time, a left and right channel, or if perhaps you wanted to have, um, you know, two microphones, you could use the second um, instrument jack as a uh, auxiliary microphone or something. But mainly what you'll probably want to do is set the uh, mono input one, and that's the uh, left XLR jack, and um, that'll record um, in stereo in quotes, and then so kind of what you'd expect. And then um, mono number two, you could record, uh, say, a uh, synthesizer or a drum machine or guitar or something and uh, do whatever. So um, that's basically how to set that up. So... Um, as far as recording, you would want to pick a pattern um, you want to record to, and if you didn't get rid of it already, um, you can do record audio into a uh, playlist as a clip, and uh, I think that's the, the easiest way, in my opinion, to do it. I mean, you could record it separately and bring it in, but, you know, it, it shows it in the interface, and it ends up looking really good, so um, it's just the best way to do it. So, um, yeah, as usual, you know, you expect it, it starts to, it starts to record, you get the, the green bar, and if you go here and press stop, um, yeah, it goes right into the interface, it goes right in with all your other clips and stuff, and, you know, it just, it just makes sense, so, yeah, uh, well, it's not going to play back, because, uh, like I said, I had to redub this to, to get it going, but, um, yeah, so, once you've got that recorded, you probably want to select another channel, and move your recording to that secondary channel. That way you can uh, go in over in the effects. Get over there, yep. And um, you can put in like a filter or, you know, I, I know this package comes with a, a number of filters I'll probably look in another video, but um, 
it, it really allows you to to do some things with your uh, your microphone audio, boost it up a little bit, or you know, um, add some effects if you wanted to sound like a robot or something. But um, really, I think I think that's just about it for the you know the basics. And you know, there's some other stuff that I might go into, like I said later. But um, yeah, hopefully that um, helps you out and. Uh, I'll catch you in another video.